Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn The clocks back A couple dials Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric and Yi. We are here today in Long Island City to try this high-end food court that's been open since 2020. And the place we're going to is called Jackson Co. It's right off the Queensboro Plaza exit. All right, let's get eating. It's a little better to be honest. <gasps> oh. I think the first bite I'm gonna take is the Mapo tofu. Just because I haven't eaten this in so long because it always comes with pork. Looks very good. You can see they got that black bean sauce, a little bit of spiciness, some chili oil. That's different. They use Szechuan for that. So spicy? It's a take on mambo tofu in my opinion. Alright, now I'm gonna try the glass noodles. You can see there's like some sesame seeds, some red pepper flakes. There's a lot of sesame oil in that uh, glass noodle. There's like a little hint of sour, like maybe they put a little bit of like black vinegar. It's very delicious though. Okay, chicken cut. It looks pretty okay. Chinese barbecue. This one is like American roast chicken, like American barbecue. So it's like definitely different. I don't know if I love it with the Asian food. The green bowls, definitely more Asian fusion. This is a good lunch if you want to take it for work from home or whatever. Definitely, if you're gonna visit Lotus and Cleaver, get their congee. This one you cannot miss. This looks amazing. Where's this one from? This is from Mixology. It's kind of like your leveled up Chipotle. They have tacos, quesadillas, as well as a bunch of sides. So at $22, this is the most expensive dish that we got in all of Jackson Co. You get three shrimp tacos and you also get rice and beans on the side. We went with their shrimp tacos. We saw a lot of photos online. It looked amazing. And in person, it does not disappear. So good. It's like your classic seasoned grilled shrimp. It has a bunch of spices on it. Really, really simple. Nothing too much on it, which I personally like with tacos. $22 is definitely steep for shrimp tacos, but I'm not even gonna lie, these are the best shrimp tacos I've ever had. I think they like really crisped up the shrimp, grilled it up really nice, and that spicy sauce goes really well with it too. If you come here, be willing to spend that $22. I guarantee you, you're gonna have a life-changing experience with these shrimp tacos. Definitely like that they gave all the condiments on the side. Guac was an extra, because you're already paying $16 for a quesadilla. It has that pulled pork taste, so I actually like that. A lot of cheese flavor, but I don't taste too much of the chicken. Coming right after those shrimp tacos, I don't think this is gonna beat that. But definitely still tastes very good. Up next, we got drinks from Biao Shin.
Biao Sugar is known for their brown sugar bubble tea. The eggs are just like a special cup that's in their bubble tea. I'll show you guys how it works. Just take the egg and then you kind of unscrew it like a cap. And then you have this really, really cool drink. I think their bubbles are like brown sugar flavored itself too. So very, very much like tiger sugar, except slightly less sweet, which I prefer, and more uh, milk foamy on top. They do have other flavors like fruit teas, other milk teas, but this is what they're known for. So pretty good. I don't like it as much as the Devil's Egg. I think the Devil's Egg is better. It's just not my favorite drink. It's very coffee flavored. See what you mean by meaty. A lot of solid flavor in this. I think for $18, this is a pretty good deal, honestly. It's just a solid pizza, nothing too much to write about, but I wouldn't be mad about it if like I wanted pizza for dinner one night and got a campfire pizza. <laughs>